Hello. This is my homework number 13 of Otto's English course. Link is below. Today I should answer a few questions conducted to uh, employment. So let's start. Are you a team player? In what way? It's a question. So I think I'm a good team player. I can work in a team on a single task, doing my part of job and communicate with other people who also involved into the process of solving task. So I have a big experience of working with multiple companies, multiple teams. Second question. What tools do you recommend for effective online communication? Why? Uh, as for tools, I use, I recommend uh, Telegram as a communication platform, Skype, uh, Slack as a platform for uh, making conversations on in separate channels. Uh, maybe WhatsApp, it's popular in Russia and maybe in other countries nearby Russia. Uh, it has a lot of people. Uh, okay, number three. Describe a time when you faced conflict and how you addressed it. Um, for example, I had a situation when my colleague was very impressive in his speech while discussing with uh, uh, our top leaders and uh, sometimes he even used un unnormative uh, words. Uh, I was... Uh, how you address to it? I was uh, listening it with humor so I I was surprised why he used such uh, words. Uh, he can describe his opinion um, much easier in a more polite uh, form. But who knows? Maybe he was such aggressive. Um, but uh, I think that. Uh, in a normal process everybody should uh, be in formal and uh, polite uh, form of communication between each other. Uh, what are the best ways to motivate employees for your opinion? I think that it depends on uh, each person, uh, it's, there is no uh, unified solution, but maybe most of people like when uh, their salary increase during time and uh, maybe some kind of uh, highlighting their uh, distribution to project, I mean highlight their success. Uh, on meetings and so on, I think it's good uh, way if employer fe feels that his uh, job is useful, it uh, makes him happy, I guess. What is the best way to keep your skills up to date? It's second question. I guess uh, the best way is to read uh, sites conducted to your profession. For example, in IT, it's medium.com, hubber.ru, uh, reddit.com, uh, dev2, 
its site and so on and uh, pass courses conducted to your profession like autos courses link is below and um, to maybe to write your own pet projects uh, just to be on the way wave how to say to use as a modern technologies that maybe is not are not used on your uh, company project yet okay so six question what can you do to help newcomers learn faster I think a good solution is to write a documentation for example I like to write documentation in uh, kind of Wikipedia its product of Atlassian called Confluence it's a very good product to just to write a documentation to your code to your project uh, and uh, newcomers who will read these uh, documents I guess they will understand quite fast of what uh, you have done during your development and uh, understand how it should work and how to run it and so on <clears throat> uh, and code review of course is very good uh, thing to make uh, newcomers to transform newcomers into your colleagues uh, number seven what professional accomplishment are you most proud of and how did you achieve it it's a hard question for me because I can't highlight any special accomplishment or task I have done and I proud of because there is was a lot of task during my career that I have done and uh, uh, many of them was interesting uh, challenging but and uh, I can't say that or oh, there was one single task but it was great every every task was done like uh, uh, it was needed to our customer uh, and done well I guess what would you do if your manager asked you to perform task you have never done before uh, no problem I guess it's a challenge it's interesting to try new things new technologies and if uh, manager uh, thinks that I can do this task even if I have not experience with it yet so I guess he will give me some time to understand what I'm should do before I mean make some preparation work and uh, I guess after this task will be solved when I will get all the necessary materials resources uh, to solve it it's question of time just I guess this is the uh, main problem that uh, if uh, there is a new way you need more time to understand how it works and last question have you ever worked with scrum agile technology what advantages disadvantages have you not noticed uh, i can say that uh, all modern companies that i worked in use scrum used scrum in their technology process and it shows as a good uh, process uh, for task solving uh, the main tool used for it is uh, Jira task tracker 
and uh, managers data anal uh, analytics uh, use used it to uh, make uh, prognosis scrum uh, sprints to plan sprints for future development and uh, you while you're working on it you uh, solve tasks that are included to the sprint I will not uh, tell a lot about Scrum it has a lot of interesting terms Scrum Master Poker Planning and so on uh, disadvantages which disadvantages should I think mm, I'm I'm not sure maybe uh, Scrum is a good technology and uh, I don't remember any useful disadvantages there is a lot of advantages besides uh, that's all uh, it was a short question QA session and uh, thank you for attention it's my learning practice so uh, I will be waiting for a reply for my from my teacher about my current conversation thank you